Hi, and welcome to Talk Straight Bible. We're your host, Jeremiah. And Rafina Antonetti. Hey, we're still here to do one thing on Thanksgiving Day, and that is, Talk come on. Talk Straight about the Bible. Well, what we're talking about today is Thanksgiving, because today is Thanksgiving. Well, you know, a lot of people say, well, every day is Thanksgiving. Yeah, but today we celebrate it as a special day. And it's always good to have a day that you can celebrate. We have we have the Sabbath, we have this, we have what, Christmas, we have New Year's, uh -huh. and we celebrate it. So this morning, we just want to just encourage you in your thanksgiving unto the Lord. You know, I like the picture here. I, at first, I didn't understand. see understand it. Then <laughs> my wife said, I got a picture then. I said, okay, but then when I, I said, wait a minute, it looks like two trees. But then I looked, I said, no, that's the tomb. And the rock is rolled away because Jesus resurrected. As you see the light behind the cross. Yeah, that's what Thanksgiving is to me. It's not so much about a turkey. I was a turkey, but... Um, <laughs> we were both turkeys. <laughs> but Thanksgiving is about being grateful to what the Lord has done in our lives. Amen, Amen to that. Amen. So I'm going to have Amen. my wife read the scripture and we're just going to go. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I am thankful, grateful, and blessed this morning, right? <laughs> because... Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And that's First Chronicles 1634 today. The reason that the Lord is good is not a moment thing. Yeah. It's not, you know, sporadic that he's good. But his loving kindness is everlasting. His mercy, his grace, his kindness, his deliverance, his salvation, his healing, his promises, everything about God is good. And he is the goodest you are <laughs> ever going to get. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, you know what? Before we go back to this, this verse here, Let's go back a little bit because this is the time when they took the Ark of the Covenant mm. to put it in its place. For it says, So they brought the Ark of God and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it, and they offered burnt sacrifices and peace offerings before the Lord. You know what David did before this? He made a grave mistake. He was happy about taking the he ark. He was zealous. Yes. Yeah, oh, he was, he so was zealous. Excited. Oh, come on, I'm king now. Let's go. I want to get the ark and bring it to to my house around my around my area. And so what happened? He consulted some of the captains and the army and all these and the people. And he went and did something. He went and built a cart that was man-made and he put the ark on it. They said, come on, let's party. And the Bible says they began to shout and play music and do all these things. The Lord was not pleased, especially when the ox went to a, uh, through a threshing floor and it kind of stumbled and it was going to fall. And so Uzzah put out his hand to study the ark and he died. Mm. Oh, man, David was really, really, you know, distraught at this. So, you know, we're looking at this, for the Lord is good and his, and his mercy endures forever. David, after this, he was, again, angry. He was sad. So he took the ark and he put it in the house of Bedadam. Mm. And the Bible says it was there three months and his house prospered. Okay, so what is it about giving thanks? Hmm? Think about this now. When David finally got his act together because he consulted the priest, how should we do this? And they we have to sanctify ourselves. See, he didn't go to the people. He went, at first he went to the people and he went to the captains. But after this, after he learned in the law, he went back and wrote in the, and read in the law that the Levites were just supposed to carry the ark. Big difference between rolling, rolling it in on a cart and carrying the ark. Mm. So when he did this, the Bible says that God was pleased with all this. And so he put the tent in his backyard, basically. And this is what he did. He put it in a tent and he said, I want, I want the singers... And I want it to be praised 24 hours a day. Wow. Ah. So look at this. Now, when David had made an end of the offering, the burnt offering and peace offering, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Notice this. And he dealt to each one of Israel, both men and women, to everyone a loaf of bread and a good piece of flesh <laughs> and a flagon of wine. So they, they were doing good. But now, as he goes here, he says, 
David sung of thanks. Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people, sing unto him, sing, sing psalms unto him, talk you of all his wondrous works, glory you in his holy name. Mm. Wow. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Thank seek you. the Lord and his strength and his face continually. Hallelujah. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. Oh, you know what? As you continue to read this, how it just escalates. Mm. And it gets to the mm -hmm. point mm -hmm. on 34 where he says this. And say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Mm -hmm. And his mercy endures forever. You know what? David experienced God's mercy. Uh. And you know why he gave thanks? Because of that mercy. Wow. Why do you give thanks? That picture that we have up there today. It's because Jesus died on the cross. They put him in a tomb, but the tomb could not hold him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Hallelujah. And listen. Listen. Man put a stone over the grave, but the angel lifted up the stone and took it away. Wow. You know why? Because life cannot be in the grave. Hmm. <laughs> and because of this, when we look to the cross and we look out of the tomb at the cross, we have resurrection life. And that's why we give thanks today. Thank you, Lord. Because we can eat of the bread of life. Thank you, Lord. And and for that reason, Ephesians 5.20 says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know before he says, before it says that, it says, Therefore, do not be foolish and thoughtless, but understand and firmly grasp what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine. And you know that this is a season where people get drunk with wine for that is wickedness, corruption, stupidity, but be filled with the Holy Spirit and constantly guided by him. Speak to one another in Psalms, just like Jeremiah's just read, hymns and spiritual songs, offering praise by singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord. Always giving thanks to God the Father for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, being subject to one another out of reference for Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 105, verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Hallelujah. Wow. Why should we give thanks when you're around your table today? Mm. Tell your children, do you know what we're sitting here? It's not about turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about just eating food. That's fine. <clears throat> but we're here sitting because God has been good to every generation. And his mercy has endured up to this day. We are alive because of his great mercy. And we should be grateful. And that's why eating dinner together say we should eat dinner and remember just how Amen. good the Lord is to us. Oh, praise yes. God for his goodness. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am weak. I am, I am rich because he has given us Christ, his son. Give that. You see, that's mm -hmm. what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. you know, the Bible says his mercy endures to a thousand generations. Well, you know, the way I am, I said, wow, that's a long time. So I started doing a study from... Adam, all the way to the present age. Do you know that we have not even reached 300 generations yet? Mm. But it says up to 1,000 generations. That means if God was to literally say, okay, it's going to be up to 1,000 generations, we would have to wait another four, maybe 4,000 years. But it was not talking about 1,000 generations as people, but one represents the name of God, mm. his nature. The Lord is one. And he says, because I am one and I'm God, my love is eternal. My mercy is eternal. A thousand generations. Remember that one day is like a thousand years to the Lord and a thousand years is like one day. 
Hallelujah. That means that no matter where we are in time, whether we live a thousand years or whether we live one day, we should give thanks always to the Lord because his mercy endures forever. Thank you, Lord. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 In every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Isn't that an awesome thing? We are called to rejoice always and to pray without ceasing. That's why it says in the scripture, in everything, in everything, give thanks. When you just take a moment to think about everything that God has given you, then you will see more and more reasons to give thanks. When I wake up in the morning and I start to give him thanks, you could think of a thousand things to just give thanks for. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you, Lord, that I can breathe on my own. Thank you, Lord, that I have a job. Thank you, Lord, that I have a husband. Thank you, Lord, for my children. They are healthy. Thank you, Lord. These are, the, these are things that we can just rejoice over because there are so many people out there that do not have the things that we have. And even if we're going through situations that um that it says here in every situation in any circumstance even if we're going through a bad time we can still give him thanks we can still <laughs> give him thanks you know um elsie put was is it elsie mm -hmm. she says sing that song and actually i'm sitting here <coughs> and i said let me go downstairs and get my guitar this is before i saw that my wife pointed it out because i want to sing that song so Amen. thank you thank you for the confirmation that we should sing this song this morning as we go off because God is so good and his mercy does endure forever. I give thanks to the Lord because you know what? He has kept me almost 40 years. This year coming will be 40 years, Rafina. Why do I boast in that? I'm going to tell you why I boast in the Lord in that. Because I shouldn't be here. Mm. I should be dead. Really, my life back then was so bad Thank that you. I should be dead. I wanted to die. I didn't want to live anymore. I really wanted to die. And Jesus came into my living room. Hallelujah. And he rolled away the stone in my life and gave me life. I didn't want to live anymore either. But because he lives... We could face tomorrow. We could face tomorrow. <laughs> I want to read this last scripture before we sing these songs. We're going to sing these songs. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Psalms 104-5. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks, give thanks. With a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. And now, let the weak say, I am strong let the poor say i am rich because of what the lord has done and now let the weak say i am strong let 
let the poor say I am weak because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. We give thanks to you, God. You, Hallelujah. You're so good. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for being so good to us. Yeah. Thank you. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all is gone. Because I know he holds the future, and life is worth. Because he lives. We got it together, yeah, right? Come on, then. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know He holds the future And life is worth the living just Because He lives Listen now. God sent His Son Yes, thank you, Lord. They called him Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He came to die. Heal and forgive. He came to die to buy a pardon. Thank you, Lord. And then he prayed in there to prove our Savior. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. tears right now I'm just so good God you're so good hallelujah we pray you have a beautiful beautiful Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving give glory to him as you sit around the table today and you remember ask everyone at the table yes. to say something good something about the yes. Lord why they're thankful yes amen that's what we have done for years with our children when we sit around the table say one good thing God has done for you this year. Hallelujah. And you're going to enjoy that meal so much more. <laughs> God bless you. Until, Until we, we meet, meet again. again. Shalom. Shalom.